Today's election day and you probably open up social media and you see all these people giving you reasons why you should go out and vote. Hey guys, still counting votes, huh? And they may not even say who you should vote for. They say you should participate in the system, in this representative democracy that we have. And most people are like, what's a representative democracy? And they don't know what a direct democracy or a participatory democracy or an authoritarian democracy or an elite democracy is. So the people on the left are gonna say, vote Harris, cause that's good for democracy. The people on the right are saying, vote Trump, cause that's the only way to save democracy. You have the anarcho-capitalists saying, democracy is a sham, authority is an illusion, you shouldn't vote anyway. And all of these things that you hear, you're, feeling the coercion of the collective to push you into a certain direction. But I think the core of it, there's an algorithm, a ghost in the machine that's pushing you to participate. It doesn't matter who you vote for or what you vote for, but they wish for you to participate with conscience, to draw from a meaningful space within you, the human, and push it up towards this collective superorganism and this great experiment that we call the United States of America. If you love your fellow countrymen, if you love people in general, if you want to get back to uh, a little bit more of a realistic way that we can nurture our environment and nurture people while not allowing corruption to run rampant, what is being asked of you is to participate in a meaningful way. How do you do that? Well, some people, they use their voice in a microphone. Other people, they make art. I have a film that's coming out with Aubrey Marcus tomorrow on his YouTube channel called Land of the Free. It's a twist ending documentary. Everyone who sees the trailer is probably going to say, why are you making a film about RFK? It's not. It's actually about you at home. It's a twist ending documentary seen partly through the eyes of RFK until it's no longer seen through the eyes of RFK. And this is because of one of the most interesting past four or five months that we've lived through in our partisan politics landscape. What I wish to invite you to do today is realize that you have technology at your disposal that makes your voice more heard today than it ever could have been in the past. You have these things, these phones in your hand, and the things that you can do with that it would have taken you a lot of money and a lot of resources back in the day. I know we complain a lot about the technological surveillance and just the state of the world today. But what I would say is that most of us just go to Netflix, watch the Free State of Jones with Matthew McConaughey. Take a look at what voting looked like in 1863, 1865, whatever year it was. Just take a look at what it had to take to get to the ballot box, not be shot, and if you want massive transformation, what kind of skin in the game you actually have to put down. We do live in an amazing period of history. There is an opportunity to take this great experiment called the United States of America, or called democracy in general, and move it into the future as it evolves, because all things do, and to do something beautiful with it. Whether that's the anarcho-capitalist wet dream of basically there is no government anymore, we abolish it and we go back to individual rights. We are the sovereigns. We are where government comes from. Uh, and it's only internal governance. Or you could say, I really like the liber liberal democratic world order. We should push deeper into that. Or I like removing regulations. I like the more conservative approach. Then you can go into that. And everyone's going to tell you that if you do this, democracy's on the line. If you do that, democracy's on the line. If you do nothing, democracy's on the line. Think of that. What they're asking you to do is simply participate. Use your voice. Draw from a meaningful space within you. And whether you go out today to a ballot box and you vote, or whether you go to a microphone, or whether you wait till next week until you're done reading that book so you could regurgitate it because you think that will save democracy, I'm simply asking you, Check in with your heart because you are feeding into a super organism called grand species of humanity and children's children, seven generations from now, will look back at today the way that we look back upon World War II and just wonder, how could it have gotten that way? How could they not have seen the telltale signs? And I'll tell you, we're being reminded of that right now. It's not easy to understand history as it's playing out very rapidly, unless you go back and you look through the rearview mirrors at history, and that's still 
not a way to predict the future perfectly. We do not live in a determinist universe. All that is being asked of you is to participate and put your full heart in. That's all I'm asking of you, whether that's through art or going out to the ballot box. So with that being said, I love you all and do your thing.